December 2022, a hangar door opens in California, and the world sees something that shouldn't exist. A bomber so stealthy it's been called invisible. So advanced it's labeled sixth generation. So capable it can control drone swarms, penetrate any defense system on Earth, and deliver nuclear weapons from 12,000 kilometers away. The B-21 Raider. It hasn't even entered service yet, but it's already changing how wars will be fought. And it's doing something no American bomber has done in decades. It's coming in under budget. The B-21 Raider made its first flight in November 2023. A second flew in September 2025. Right now, four exist. Two are flying. Two are undergoing ground tests. By 2027, it enters service. And it's going to replace almost every bomber America currently operates. But here's what makes the B-21 different. It's not just a bomber. It's a command center. It can fly unmanned missions. It has an open architecture that allows constant upgrades. And it's being called the stealthiest aircraft ever built. More advanced than the B-2 Spirit. More capable than anything China or Russia has. And despite costing around $692 million per aircraft, it's actually cheaper than expected. The B-21 changed air warfare before it even took off. And here's how. If you think this is a game changer, type YES in the comments. Let's start with the problem. America's bomber fleet is old, really old. The B-52 Stratofortress first flew in 1952. That's over 70 years ago. Some of these aircraft are older than the pilots flying them. The B-1 Lancer entered service in the 1980s. And the B-2 Spirit? Only 21 were ever built. They cost $2 billion each. In 1987, the Air Force had 331 bombers. Today? Just 140, and many aren't mission-ready on any given day. The fleet is the oldest, smallest, and least ready in Air Force history. Meanwhile, China and Russia are building advanced air defense systems, S-400SS-500S integrated radar networks, long-range missiles, systems specifically designed to shoot down American aircraft. The Air Force needed something new something that could penetrate these defenses, something affordable enough to build in large numbers. So in 2011, they launched the Long Range Strike Bomber program. In 2015, Northrop Grumman won the contract, the company that built the B-2 Spirit, and they promised something revolutionary, a bomber that would be stealthier than the B-2, cheaper to build, easier to maintain and capable of adapting to future threats. The result is the B-21 Raider, named after the Doolittle Raiders who bombed Tokyo in 1942, a symbol of bold, long-range strikes deep into enemy territory. Before we dive into what makes this bomber so special, hit that like button and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs nothing and helps us bring you more content like this. So, what makes the B-21 Raider so advanced? First, stealth. The B-21 is designed to be virtually invisible. It uses a flying wing design. No tail, no vertical surfaces. Everything is smooth and blended. The engines are buried deep inside the airframe. The inlets are conformal, blending seamlessly into the fuselage. There are no exposed nozzles or protruding components. It's covered in radar-absorbing materials, special coatings that disperse radar signals instead of reflecting them back. Northrop Grumman built an entire facility just to apply these coatings. The B-21's radar cross-section is classified, but experts believe it's even smaller than the B-2's. And the B-2 is already nearly undetectable. 
Second, range and payload. The B-21 can fly 12,000 kilometers without refueling. That's enough to strike anywhere on Earth from bases in the continental United States. It carries 12 to 13 tons of munitions, both nuclear and conventional, B-61 and B-83 nuclear bombs, JDAM precision-guided bombs, JASSM cruise missiles, the long-range standoff missile, even the GBU-57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator for destroying deeply buried bunkers. Third, the open architecture. This is where the B-21 truly shines. Unlike older aircraft, the B-21 is software-defined. It uses modular systems that can be upgraded rapidly. New sensors, new weapons, new electronic warfare capabilities all without redesigning the entire aircraft. As threats evolve, the B-21 evolves. It's designed to stay relevant for 40 to 50 years. Fourth, networking. The B-21 isn't just a bomber. It's a command and control platform. It can coordinate with other aircraft, drones, ground forces, and satellites. It gathers intelligence. It processes data. It makes decisions. Former Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin said the B-21's computing and communication systems might be more important than its stealth. And here's the part that sounds like science fiction. The B-21 can control drone swarms. It can fly unmanned missions. The aircraft is being designed with artificial intelligence assistance. Human pilots will still make the critical decisions. But A. I will handle routine tasks and process information faster than any human could. So how much does this technological marvel cost? And can America actually afford to build enough of them? Here's where things get interesting. The B-21 Raider costs about $692 million per aircraft. That includes the airframe, engines, avionics, and support systems. Now, $692 million sounds like a lot, and it is. But compare it to the B-2 Spirit. Each B-2 costs $2 billion in today's dollars. The B-21 is less than half that price, and it's more capable. Why the cost reduction? Manufacturing. Northrop Grumman learned from the B-2 program. They're using digital design tools, advanced manufacturing techniques, reusable production lines. The same tools that build prototypes are building production aircraft. That means lessons learned get applied immediately. And here's the shocking part. The program is under budget. The Air Force originally budgeted $19.1 billion for the first five production lots. The actual cost? $13.8 billion. That's a 28% reduction, nearly $5.1 billion in savings. Congress noticed. In April 2025, they approved an additional $4.5 billion to accelerate production. The program is ahead of schedule, on budget, and delivering exactly what was promised. The Air Force plans to buy at least 100 B-21s, some estimates suggest that number could grow to 145, or even 200. Production is ramping up. The first operational unit will be based at Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota. Infrastructure upgrades are already underway. The first B-21s will enter service by 2027. They'll replace the B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit by 2040, and they might even replace the B-52 eventually. So why does the B-21 matter? Because it changes the strategic balance. China is building the world's most sophisticated air defense systems. Russia is modernizing its military. Both nations are developing their own sixth-generation aircraft. The B-21 ensures America maintains the upper hand. It provides what military planners call strategic deterrence, the ability to strike anywhere, anytime, without warning. That capability keeps adversaries from taking aggressive action. 
it protects allies, and it ensures America can respond to any threat. But the B-21 isn't just about deterrence, it's about flexibility. It can conduct long-range strikes, intelligence gathering, electronic warfare, command and control, battle damage assessment. It's a multi-mission platform that can adapt to whatever the future brings. Then perhaps most importantly, it's affordable. The United States can actually build enough of them. Unlike the B-2, which was cut to just 21 aircraft because of cost, the B-21 program is sustainable. That means America will have a modern, capable bomber force for decades. Our men and women in uniform will soon operate the most advanced strategic bomber in the world, a platform that ensures they can complete their missions and come home safely. That technological edge is invaluable, and it's worth every dollar. The B-21 Raider hasn't entered service yet, but it's already a success. Under budget, ahead of schedule, more capable than anything flying today. It's the world's first sixth generation bomber, and it's going to define American air power for the next 50 years. If you found this breakdown valuable, smash that like button and subscribe. Drop a comment. What do you think the B-21 means for the future of air warfare? Thanks for watching.